finally here. Hello guys. Welcome to my dressing room or as I like to call it the shroom. This tour has been 11 months in the making and I've been dreaming about this room for about five years like thinking about how I would have my dressing room when I finally eventually had my own dressing room. So let me take you on a quick spin round first. <laughs> first about design. This was designed by me with Lindsay from the Rebecca Hughes team. I knew how I wanted this room to be laid out based on how I get ready. I knew I wanted clothes on one side of the room and bags and shoes on the other side of the room. What I did first was I hung up all my clothes and I measured each one hung up so that I could know exactly how much hanging space I needed, how much long hanging and how much short hanging space I needed. This just about fits. I'm going to show you inside. I need to do a bit of a clear out. Minus my coats, it just about fits, which is exactly what I wanted. Some elements that I wanted in the room was I wanted like little window seats, for example, which is right here. And I also wanted, dun dun dun, a rolling island. This island does roll. It is on wheels. It's very heavy. It takes two to roll. Well, no, I just moved it a tiny bit. It was mainly only to roll if I needed to shoot something in here or I just wanted the flexibility of it being able to move if I needed it to. Lindsay and I went back and forth on the color scheme. Everything was basically based around this Pierre Frey blind, which if you can see, has a lot of different tones in it. It's got some pink tones, some blue tones, some red tones, some baby pink tones, and we wanted to pick up all these different tones from this fabric in the dressing room. So the dressing room started off looking like this. I'll put in a picture now. And we dilly-dallied a bit with the paint color, but I just felt like overall the paint color of the beading, because as you can see on the doors, I have a different color beading, was just be a bit too harsh for me, and I wanted something a lot softer. And for the design, we also wanted these fabric panels which you have to make and put in manually. The first fabric panel was a different fabric to this. It looked so good but it was really hard to get the pleats in. For anyone looking at fabric panels, I wish I knew this information first so I'm going to share it with you. But basically you need two and a half times the width of the panel in fabric. We did that, it did not look good. We ended up with 3.8 times the width of the panel to get this look. The bad thing about that was that it took ages of back and forth and sampling different panels to get this super, super gathered look. However, I did see that I didn't end up liking that Colfax fabric and I went with more of a blush toned pink, which if you come closer, you can kind of see it's not a solid tone. It's got all the little lines and got a bit of white in there as well. So once we finished with design and we went back and forth and I thought about loads of different elements, which I'll talk you through when I give you the full tour, we put together the drawings and that went out to be quoted. The people I got to make and build my shroom was Tom and his team from McGarry Interiors. I loved them. I felt like they really understood my little elements. They did everything from the mirrors to the lighting, to the shelves, to the drawers, to the corners, to the skirting, everything. And that was something I really wanted in here because if you can see up here, there is a little cornice detail up there and then also we have the skirting detail down here. So, whew, I think that's the little intro that I wanted to give you. Let's show you round. On this side of the room is the best side for me. This is the bags and shoe side. I really wanted some full length mirrors. I did have a chimney running through the center of the house, like a big chimney breast. So this cupboard, which is the biggest cupboard, comes out much further. But I actually like the three different depths that we have here. I feel like it really gives the room a bit more character. So in the middle cupboard here is dun dun dun. It is all bags. All my cupboards have a turn on light, like a sensory light at the top of them. Organized by Charlotte came. She took literally 38 boxes and turned it into something normal, clothes, shoes, bags, everything. So she's come and organized this all for me so I can see everything, which is so exciting. And I feel like I'll have fun just like playing with it and switching it around a bit. We kind of did this cupboard together because I love bags so much. Everything is done by brand a bit. So this is like Prada's here, Chanel is here, and then I have a mix of different brands at the bottom, like top handle bags. So that's probably the biggest cupboard and I just love this full length mirror because it's it's more than full length, it's like double length mirror. On either side of this are shoes. Now these I wanted to be a tiny bit smaller. I just I like the look of having different sizes and depth cupboards, especially as like a center focus. So in here is all shoes, all color 
coordinated. I have a lot of like sandals, mules, like little Manolos makes it so easy to find when stuff is color coordinated. I had a toy between doing it by brand, like in my old shroom I did it by brand. Color coordination, way better. And then in here is more shoes. So black shoes at the bottom, and Manolas, 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 all there. I literally measured with Lindsay exactly how much space I needed for two pairs of shoes on each shelf, and each shelf is adjustable. So if you look closely, you can see the little holes in the shelf, so you can, they're really subtle, but you can adjust the shelves if you want to. I just wanted the flexibility and the option for that. On each side of my little mirrored threesome that's going on in the center of the room, I have two sliding pocket doors. I really wanted the option to have display units in here. As you might notice, everything is closed off because I'm a very messy person, but these are sliding doors that I basically go into the wall. So if I wanted to have this as a display unit, I could, and that's on either side of there. So in here I just have shoes, boots, I'm waiting on a few um, boot fillers, by the way, so ignore those. A few more bags, like different variety of fangs in here. I think once I actually clear through and do a big sell on my Depop, then I'll probably be able to organize this a bit better. Even though it looks pretty now, I feel like it might make more sense when I declutter a bit more. This is very interesting because apart from the island and somewhere else I'll show you, this is my main drawer situation. I'm not a drawers person, I'm a hanging person. I don't really know why I had these open shelves. I felt like they would show things nicely. Basically the point of these open shelves was because if I did close drawers, I wouldn't be able to see the drawer at the top. But I kind of wish I had closed drawers because oh, I just don't like things being open to the eyeballs, you know? It just allows for mess. Even if it's neat like this, it still looks messy to me. Anyway, then here I keep swimwear. Charlotte literally organized everything, color coded everything. And then also sportswear is in here as well. I feel like these are the kind of things you fold. Oh, look how orgasmic this is. Charlotte is amazing. I wish you could come to my house and fold my stuff every day. Look how pretty. I mean, I've really tried to keep it like this because I just think it's just so orgasmic and nice to be able to see everything. Especially when I've literally been like living in a box for <laughs> a year. There are two windows in this room and I wanted to maximize space and also make things look cute. So I have two little window seats underneath the windows. I wanted somewhere to sit in the room other than in the island. Like if I'm getting ready and someone's hanging out with me, that's kind of how I envisaged it. So there are two little window seats with drawers underneath. Now in this drawer, I think is just summer things that I need to put into baskets and we're gonna put them somewhere else. That was like summer sarongs. In this drawer, I think I'm gonna put my hair tools because I'll be getting ready in front of this mirror. I just love my little window seats so much. Like it's the cutest little place. And this is a Mrs. Alice fabric. This is a Serena Fresson from Mrs. Alice fabric. She said that I was her first order of fabric. I literally got this fabric sample, desperate to see if it matched with the blind, which was like the touch reference point for this whole room. And I loved it and it actually has a little in inverse print pillow that matches, it's like a bamboo trellis, and so I have those on both sides, but I think the fabric that didn't work for the panels, I'm also going to try and weave in somewhere here, maybe with some more cushions, because I, I just love cushions, <laughs> maybe switch them out for a different look, or maybe have, I don't know, I don't know, let me know if you have any ideas. And then above my window seat is my pocket door, potential display unit, potential hidden, total situation, so I have some boots here, some more bags, more bags, I have ugly shoes hidden at the top, which you can't see because they're ugly. And <laughs> like dirty old trainers I haven't got rid of yet or something. And I just love having the option of having both of them open. Like if I open this one as well, you can see from the other side of the room, like what it looks like. And I just feel like that looks really cool. So my two little window seats are just the best thing that's ever happened to me and right in the middle, I wanted something higher to get a differentiation in height. I feel like that's really what gives dressing rooms character and I've studied them a bit too much <laughs> between you and me. This is not straight, there we go, there we go. This mirror is literally about to be hung in an hour, but I just couldn't wait any longer to share the dressing room with you. So when you see the nice glossy cutaway now, that's after my builders come and hung up the mirror. I love this mirror, I got this from, I think it was like domestic 
home or something. I looked so long for a bobbin mirror. I really wanted the Alfred Newell one, but they're on like a nine week lead time or something crazy. So I found this one instead and it was literally the perfect color for the room, I think. I'm gonna leave a link to my bobbin mirrors down below and also I have some bobbin frames that I'm being made for the bathroom. I love just all things bobbin. So I'm gonna leave a link to my favorite bobbin things down below. And then here I have a little section of books. I thought this could be like quite a cute little area to like display different things. So I have my Amazon vase, which is a bag. <laughs> which I just love. It was like a 30 pound vase on Amazon. I think it went viral on TikTok and I was like, I need this vase. And then my little bay candle, which my mum got me for my dressing room, which is so nice because I haven't even lit it yet and it has a leaf in it. Put that in there. <laughs> and then I have a lot of like bag memorabilia because I'm just obsessed with bags. So I have a new book, which I saw in my friend's stories for the love of bags, Country Lifestyle, a Dolce Vita and a Christian Dior photography book, which I really, really love because I work a lot with Dior. Then in here is, wait for it, I was really happy when I came up with the concept of this, long boot storage. Oh, let me tuck that in, there we go. Long boot storage, <laughs> let me say that again. Oh, this is just so exciting. So I've managed to fit six pairs of long boots in here. I have more, I have, I have, I have about nine. That was hard. I knew this wasn't gonna fit all of them, but I thought I'll find some other place for them. And I don't wear all of them a lot. So I thought I might put some away or sell some. I might actually sell some because I don't, I don't wear all of them. Then on this side is more drawers. So in here I have my favorite cashmere sets from Lily Silk. I've just got Pier hooked onto this color and it's literally, they are the best. They have their own space in my dressing room. I think I still have a Lily Silk code for these, by the way, so I'll link that down below because these are like, that's my easiest access thing in here because it's like all I wear. And then, well, sometimes things just ain't ready for YouTube yet. <laughs> so on this side of the room is all hanging space, a mix of long hanging and short hanging. This is the first cupboard, which we've just switched out with organized by Charlotte. So we have blazers on top, color coordinated. This is probably what I wear the most and reach for the most. That's why it's like the most easily accessible. And then I have tops, short sleeve tops and long sleeve tops, bodies and everything in there. And if you look here, you can really see the rods on the panels, like these rods that kind of just slot on in. You don't really even notice they're there. They're just pulled really, really tight on the fabric panels. This corner was a bit of a tricky corner because I wanted to maximize the space. So what Tom and the guys from Darian Period suggested was to have a double door here that opens out and then you just get basically that extra hanging space. I think we've probably squeezed like a meter extra in this. So I have long hanging here and then I have some summer bits and pieces. So basically what I'm putting in here is stuff that I don't need super easy access to, even if I can easily access it. It's just the least easily accessible of everything in here, basically. Then this one in here is a little bit of a mini one. So I have some jackets and coats in here and then skirts down below as well. This one, what do we have in here? This is jumpers and knits. I really need to weed my stuff through. I kind of wanted to get everything in and then weed out because I needed to see what I have. A lot of my stuff has been in boxes for like the best part of a year. So I honestly forgot a lot of things. And then down here is trousers and jeans. I am the kind of person that I prefer hanging stuff than folding it. I think some of these I'm gonna need to fold so that they don't uh, lose their shape. I wanted to be able to see everything first. But in terms of trousers and jeans hanging, oh, so much easier. Then in this one is another long hanging. I could have done with an extra long hanging, I think, because this is like just about good. So this is like all summery long hanging bits and pieces and then more wintry colors towards the back. Everything is color coordinated. The island. Now this island almost killed me. <laughs> almost. It was really, really difficult to get everything I wanted in here in the space, figure out if I could actually move around with it. Originally, it was gonna be 20 centimeters wider on both sides. This is a perfectly square island. The first thing I will mention is the top of the island. Now, I was thinking about getting a marble. We left this there and I brought my marble sample up here whilst everything was getting ready in the shroom and I just hated how it looked. I felt like it was really cold, really harsh. I did not like how it basically felt like a kitchen, even though 
my inspiration was to have a marble top island. I just felt like in this room, which is quite a warm, soft room, marble did not work at all. So a lot of things I'm quite grateful like came quite slowly together because otherwise I would have had to change that. And luckily I hadn't ordered it yet. So the McGarry team made me an island topper and I asked for glass on top because I will be getting ready here. I'll be doing my makeup here, which I'll show you on the other side. I wanted something wiped clean because like, you know, you get messy and stuff. This is my favorite drawer of the whole island. Are you ready? Prepare yourself. Okay, Red. Ta-da! It is a jewelry drawer. I actually had a thought of this and I saw on the McGarry and Thierry's Instagram highlights they have like a jewelry drawer and I was like I need I need a jewelry drawer. So we amended the island to fit a jewelry drawer. So in here I have a lot of my own jewelry, a lot of Raimi, and I have lots of little pockets of things. I have had jewelry like little sections on Amazon with the long hanging thing for necklaces with a little hook on top. They all get fidgety and they all get annoying. I didn't want that. I literally have squares and loads of spaces for rings and for studs. But you ain't ready for the next draw. Prepare yourself again. I know, I know you're just getting over what I just showed you, but wait. <laughs> exciting is this? This is so amazing. This is my sunglasses drawer. Now I counted out so that I would have four spare sections and somehow in between designing the shroom and now I've bought like eight new pairs of sunglasses or something. I'm not sure how many. I feel like I bought four more pairs. Well that I don't even know. Anyway I'm gonna have to sell some of these and weed out but I wanted to see everything first before I did that. Now Charlotte came and organized my underwear drawer. Now a lot of this isn't here because I just went away twice so a lot of it's in the wash however you have never seen such a stunning underwear drawer in your life like look at them my color coordinated undies like wow socks bras granny bras sexy lace bras these are little amazon dividers that she asked me to buy i'll link them down below because they are so useful if you don't want to section your drawers but you just want things to be able to slot nicely together and then you can just adjust them yourself and then down here I have pajamas. Loads of pajamas, robes at the back. So easy. Those drawer dividers are a complete game changer. So on this side of the island is where I wanted to sit and do my makeup. I like sitting facing the light. So this is how this is kind of directionally gonna work. Now, what I have to tell you about here, on here is our Mac Martin's mirror, which they kindly sent me, it's the Claremont mirror. It's one side's magnified, one side's not, and I just think it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous iron topper kind of bathroom mirror. I'm so grateful because I literally would have bought it. I have my My Way fragrance, which I just put on every day, and then a little vase. I really like this crystal vase. This is a vintage vase. And I think actually my sister got that for me as a moving in present. Uh, I think it was my sister or my mum, and now they're gonna comment and be like, it was me, it wasn't me, and I'm not gonna remember. Anyway, the point was that I wanted to sit here, <laughs> let's move on swiftly, <laughs> that I wanted to sit here. Now you might wonder, and a lot of people have asked when they come in here, why there are two slim drawers either side of me. We were gonna have everything to one side of me, however, that would mean that I wouldn't be able to have the wheels at the bottom of the island because of the mechanism at the bottom of the island. So we have two sets of quite slim drawers. I have really worked this to my advantage because this is all makeup. So in here I have these little, um, uh, you know what I mean, these drawer divider thingy. What are these called? <laughs> What are they called? Drawers, drawers. Drawer dividers. Yes. In here I have these drawer dividers which fit perfectly and it keeps everything great. Because makeup's quite small, I find that every section of my face has a drawer. So I find that dead easy. It's great for me. So I've got eyes on this side, face on the other side. Look at all my Charlotte Tilbury looking so happy. Wow, stunning, isn't it? Who needs so many cream eyeshadows? Me, but I just love them. Then on this side I have face. Got a lot of bit of beauty pie, a lot of clay to pose. Shot Tilbury, Armani, and on this side. Now it's very, very streamlined. If you've been watching me for a long time, you will know that this is really not me, and there's a lot of makeup somewhere that ain't here. But I wanted to literally have what I put on my face every day in drawers. That's it. And then I have two sets of bigger drawers, which I haven't quite figured out yet. So right now I have brushes in here. I don't like having brushes out, I feel like they look messy. So when I do my makeup, I just bring them up and then put them back in. I have lipstick, I have some backups. So I think once I actually go through my makeup, I might figure out a few more bits and bobs to put in there, but I like having that brush section. This little chair, I really wanted to find somewhere to fit this fabric because I love this fabric. I feel 
feel like it's so unique. It's an Ian Mankin stripe. I actually went into his shop and he is so gorgeous and so nice. John Haswell made this and Michael Williams made the uh, furniture underneath. I absolutely love John. He's made my headboard for me. He's made my ottoman for me. I literally found him on Instagram. <laughs> I would highly, highly recommend him. He just made this gorgeous little chair, this bespoke chair, which just fits so well, like right perfectly in there. Um, and it was unlike anything he, he'd ever been asked to make before, so I really felt like I'd put him out of his comfort zone on this one. He just smashed it out of the park, like exactly what I wanted. One thing that I have to mention that you will have definitely, definitely noticed are the handles in the dressing room. These are all Armac Martin, who also are the handles in my kitchen. They are the only handle people you should ever look at because they not only have so many different finishes, they also make the most gorgeous special handles. Now every handle in my dressing room is hand burnished brass. I have the Withenshaw knob here and on my drawers here this is the Blake's Pearl. These are from completely different ranges but I feel like our Mac Martin has such a style that they work so well together and I have larger size Withenshaw knobs on the cupboards than I do on my little makeup drawers because they have multiple different sizes. What I did was I ordered a few different samples from their website just to look at their different finishes. You can order little samples that are actually really, really gorgeous little like swatch samples and then chose my finish based on that. That was the basis for this whole room of finishes. You might notice my chandelier up here is chrome. That is actually gonna be dyed in a workshop. They take it away for like four to six weeks to match perfectly the um, R. Mac Martin, hopefully, fingers crossed, match perfectly the R. Mac Martin hand burnished brass, which I love. The other thing I wanted to mention is colors that I chose in the room, the general vibe. So the paint on the doors is a spray paint of Farrah and Ball Dimity, which is one of my favorite warm toned creams. It's gorgeous. It has a kind of pinky texture to it. The beading color, I didn't put on the island. I just felt like that would be a bit too much but it is on all the doors and this is my favorite color of all time which is Farron Ball Archive 227. This I also have in my hallways and I've also painted my dressing tables in this color too. It looks so different in so many different scenarios and it is just such a sophisticated color I can't even tell you. And then the skirting and the cornice are Farron Ball pointing. The floor, I love the color of this floor. I actually sent a picture to Parquet Flooring and I was like, this color I love. I love how soft and matte it is. Everything in this room is like just so soft and buttery and creamy, you know? And he literally, Ben from Parquet Flooring, got the perfect color for me. I feel like it's not too harsh. It's still quite girly. I would definitely wanted a wooden floor in here because, you know, you're chucking things, you're throwing things, the makeup and the thing, and they're just, just easier you know the other thing I wanted to mention on color scheme is thinking about the general area of the surrounding rooms like in here is actually my dressing room bathroom I was contemplating not having this as a bathroom and just having a much bigger dressing room however in terms of selling a property it's definitely better to have an extra bathroom if someone wanted to turn this into a bedroom eventually and also I love the idea of showering in there and just getting ready out here I just felt like that whole process would just be so streamlined and so Sexual, you know, so this is my dressing room bathroom. So in here it has a bit of a different vibe because of the shower So I have big slabs of marble big marble tiles in here But still pulling in to the colors of the PFRA blind and this is my vanity unit Which I just think is the sweetest vanity unit ever I wanted to quickly show you this even though it's not technically a dressing room It's part of the whole vibe and ambience. This was actually a vintage mirror. It was white and I ordered a spray paint of the matching color to this which is paint and paper library temple and I spray painted that and then I have my really gorgeous little scallop Matilda Gold lampshade so this floor is like my girly floor. <laughs> I just laughed at myself saying that because this house is so girly and I'm fully fully aware of that but this is the most girly floor so this is my girly floor. I'm gonna make a room masculine something so I'm gonna I'm gonna add some black somewhere so maybe <laughs> Anyway, no one at me. This just got hung up literally last week. This is a triple glass shelf. I love these for adding a bit of detail in a bathroom and I love beauty products as displays. I just think that is the creme de la creme of my life. These are gorgeous little Matilda Go towels. And then in here I have my shower. This is like a Leaf Road Brooks classic shower. So I have the big shower head up there and then the old school situation here. The last thing I want 
wanted to mention was having speakers in the ceiling so in here I can really pump the tunes and like do a full girly glam getting ready situation and I actually had the speakers spray painted the same color as the ceiling they still kind of stand out but it's just a bit more blendable you know what I mean so I'm going to leave links to everything down below including Tom and the McGarry interiors team organized by Charlotte all basically the people that helped get this room to where it is now we started the official designs for this dressing room last October so almost almost 12 months like just about 11 months I hope you've enjoyed this tour and it's given you some inspiration honestly honestly honestly, honestly if you're designing a dressing room and you want to send me your drawings or something on Instagram and just I'll have a look at them because I freaking love it do that and we can just chat dressing rooms all day it'll be so fun finally I get to show you this and now I can film in here and just have the best time so happy oh okay we've been chatting for a really long time I should probably go I will see you next week I'm probably gonna do a haul next week because I just want to do something in here and organize this more and clear it out and just spend my life in here so I'll see you then thanks for watching guys Mwah. bye